Hello and welcome. I've got for you today a Lano laptop cooler. So for those of you who use laptops as a desktop replacement or your mainstay computing device, you know that those things can get quite loud and quite hot. And the benefit of the fact is that unless we keep them cool, we don't get the maximum performance out of those devices. That's where this device comes in. This is called the Lano laptop cooler. What it is, is a laptop stand with a built-in 14 centimeter fan. We've got some RGB lighting around this device to make sure that your, your aesthetics are in check. Plus, we've got some clips here that help keep your laptop in place so that it doesn't slide off the device. We've got some cushioning here so once the laptop is placed on top, it, it forms a nice seal around the laptop to allow it air to be really circulated across and to efficiently cool the device. And of course, we've got some buttons up at the front here with a control panel where we can dial up the uh, the RPMs on this fan all the way from 300 RPM up to a whopping 2800 RPM. It gets quite loud at that volume, but you don't necessarily need to run it at that level or that volume to get your laptop cooler. In this video, I'll be demonstrating an overview of this device, looking at some of the features that it offers in depth, and we'll be looking at a laptop running some Furmark benchmarks to see how much this device can actually cool from the 100C benchmarks and the 100C temperatures we're now accustomed to with the latest generations of Intel and AMD CPUs. So that said, before we jump in though, please click on that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you're first to know when there's new content available here. Let's jump right in. Included in the box is an AC adapter that's used to power on the laptop cooler. We also have some literature and a dust filter included with a USB-C cable that can be used for an uplink. We also have the laptop cooler itself and a foam cushion that is able to form a nice seal for a be better cooling effect. And the bottom of the device has two flip-up feet that can be used to flip up as well as some rubber, rubber feet to anchor the device and to elevate for a different angle. The central feature of the Lano laptop cooler is the 14 centimeter or 5.5 inch turbo cooler fan. At the front of the device there are these pull-out clips which are used to house and secure your laptop when it's placed onto the laptop cooler surface. There is a jog dial here that's used to adjust the RPM speed of the laptop. Pressing and holding the power, power button for two seconds will turn on or off the device and it will remember the last setting you used for your fan adjustment as well as the RGB light ring which is around the device. As you can see here on the side we also have a USB hub. There's a provided upstream cable which ad additionally expands your port capability with three ports on this device and there is a nice RGB wraparound light ring around the device from the front, back, left and the right side that can be adjusted using the M key, the M touch key and the color touch key that are on the panel and those are also memory function activated so when you turn on off the device and turn it back on, it will remember the mode and the colors that you had selected for the RGB cycle mode. As we see here, we can toggle the jog dial and, you know, rolling it up, basically uh, variably adjust the RPM speeds of the fan all the way from 300 RPM to the maximum 2800 RPM. To better demonstrate the cooling of the Lano laptop cooler, all of the fans in the built-in MSI laptop used for testing here were turned down to zero so we could maximally benefit from the laptop cooler. And using the MSI Center software, all of the performance testing here using Firmark was done in the extreme performance mode through the MSI Center software. The Firmark benchmark was run in 1440p mode as that is the next closest resolution to the QHD Plus panel of this laptop and it was run until the laptop CPU and GPU were both soaked for heat for about 45 minutes before engaging the Yan Lano laptop cooler and then doing the further testing in this video. Firmark was then allowed to soak the heat into the laptop CPU and GPU where we reached about 80 degrees on the CPU and about 75 degrees on that GPU. In that case, the Lano laptop cooler was then engaged at the base RPM speed of 300. Make sure we get the minimum amount of cooling effect. And to do the testing, I've then turned up here the uh, RPM speed on the Lano laptop cooler to 800 RPM between the recommended range of 600 to about 1500 RPM. So towards the lower end of the spectrum here. And as we allow about 90 seconds, in this case a little bit less actually to allow the laptop cooler to take effect here, we see the temperatures drop quite significantly and quite quickly in fact and at the towards the end here and we settle on the GPU temperature at around 67 68 degrees uh, we'll see here in a moment and the CPU temperature to around 70 degrees which is a significant reduction from the 10 uh, from the 80 degrees on the CPU and the 75 on the GPU 
level of temperature reduction was achieved with the t with the noise levels at around 58 decibels as measured near ear levels from the laptop using the sound meter. As we scale up the RPM here to 1000, we start to see that there is a little bit more noise added here. If we look at the decibel meter, we're getting around 60 decibels of noise now as we operate the fan at 1000 RPM. Now we see that there is still occasional bumps up to 70 or perhaps even 80 to 82 degrees on the CPU, but more or less we see that there's a further reduction of another few degrees. So from 800 up to 1000, we're now seeing below 70 degrees on the CPU and also below 70 degrees on the GPU. Looks like there's been perhaps another degree or two reduced on the GPU and the CPU is hovering nicely under, under 70 degrees Celsius. And for the last test here, we'll bump up to 1500 RPM. That is the recommendations from Lano to say between between 600 to 1500 RPM is a sweet spot where you'll get the most reduction. If we look now, we're hovering around 63 to perhaps 64 decibels on the noise meter, and this is about what you would get with most gaming laptops with the, the fans cranked to max volume or max RPM. We see here that there's a further reduction in CPU and GPU temperatures. We're now seeing hovering between mid to perhaps high 60s on the CPU as well as the GPU, of course, with the occasional dip up to 70 degrees or thereabouts on the CPU but the GPU is staying more stable. Even at the max fan speeds on most gaming laptops at around 60 to 64 decibels, you will not see this level of reduction in terms of uh, heat dis dissipation. Thus, I think this is a fantastic device because you're getting exceptional cooling performance at only 1500 RPM. Of course, if you want to manage the noise a little bit better, you can turn it down a little bit further to around 800, maybe perhaps 1000 RPM. You'll get further noise reduction and you'll still get most of the way there to 70 degrees on the CPU and about 70 degrees on the GPU. To conclude, the Lano Laptop Cooler offers a great experience. It ramps up quickly and down quickly and cool effectively your GPU and CPU. With ease, it can reduce your GPU and CPU temps more than what even the built-in fans in most laptops can do. And the RGB makes sure you stay on point, you stay lit, and keep that ambience while gaming. The provided 3-port USB expansion also helps to extend the port capabilities of your laptop and makes it easier to plug in your gaming peripherals and accessories. With a little testing, you can easily find the sweet spot for this 14cm turbo booster fan that you need to cool your laptop. Or if you prefer, you can keep things way cool and just adjust this around 1000 to 1200 RPM and you'll get most of that temperature reduction that you need on your laptop. Crank it up to 1500 and watch those temps drop. And it makes a great lap pillow and a riser for your laptop with the flip out feet to level against perhaps an external monitor. If you use your laptop as your main computing device or play in dock mode, this will be an ex excellent addition to your desktop setup. Overall, a great job by Lano and I look forward to seeing the next iteration of this cooler. And before I end, a special thanks to Melody for helping to make this review possible. Thanks, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.